Jim, I guess one thing that happens here are a lot of vegetable production in this part of the state. And one thing you're looking at is using a plastic mulch to try to prevent weeds. Talk to us about what you have here on this plot. Okay. Uh, well, yes, these pl plastic mulches are a technology that are very important in vegetable production. It can be, be very helpful both in very small scale, even home gardening, uh, farmer's market scale type production, as well as large scale commercial. Okay. Well, let's start with what we have here. This is a, a yellow plastic and it's got some maybe entomological uh, benefits. Yes. O over the years, yellow uh, plastic mulches have been found to be helpful with managing certain insects. Uh, and I think it has something to do with the insects being, being attracted to the yellow so they go to the plastic toward the plastic instead of onto the plant. Okay and from here you have and that's just a, a solid plastic uh, pretty thin and here you have a, a woven plastic and yes. it's a black plastic. Right. Uh, one problem with these plastic mulches is that a, a certain weeds and particularly one called yellow nut sedge uh, the way it grows uh, comes out of the ground with a sharp point. It can punch right through the plastic mulch uh, and, and you might get some reduction of, of, uh, of weed populations, but you, if you have a lot of nut sedge, it, it'll just come out through the plastic. This material is a tightly woven material and it, and it does a pretty good job of preventing the nut sedge from, from getting established. But it still lets moisture through, is that lets right? Lets moisture, in fact, it, in fact, being woven, it may even be somewhat beneficial there, letting, allowing more Okay. air movement and moisture. And here is a, a strip, is just kind of a test strip where you don't have anything down. Uh, and the next one though is a white. Right. Uh, white plastic mulches would have a, uh, in, in warmer climates and here in the summertime, uh, if you still want to get the benefits for the, of the moisture management, uh, the weed control, but you don't want your soil to get too warm, which your soil can get here in the summertime excessively warm for, for a lot of vegetables, use a white plastic mulch and, and that will actually even provide some cooling as compared to a, un, to a, a soil surface that uh, doesn't have any mulch on it. Okay, and then the last is just your typical standard uh, black plastic. Right, black plastic is probably the most common, what's most commonly seen. Uh, it, with a lot of crops, it can be used in through the summertime. You know, once your crop becomes established, the crop shades the, shades the mulch so you don't have problems with excessive soil heating. But uh, where, where the black plastic is really valuable is with early spring plantings. And for example, Oklahoma's uh, commercial watermelon producers will often use plastic mulch to uh, help the soil warm up a little bit earlier. Using that in combination with transplants, they can often make watermelon, uh, have a watermelon crop ready to harvest before the 4th of July. Great. Which, which provides a premium price. Well, thanks for showing us around. This is really interesting research. And My pleasure. And hopefully this will help people out.